guys, Amber from The Vault here. Welcome to Beholder, the complete edition, guys. I'm so excited to be playing this game for you. The original came out in 2016, and I never got a chance to play it. It was one of those games I heard some buzz around, but I really never played it, just because I, I didn't have a chance. I've been doing a lot of other stuff. You guys have seen the channel. You guys know what I'm doing, but I didn't get a chance to play it, so I'm so excited to be playing it for you guys right now. And the reason I can actually play this, I just want to throw a huge shout-out to the actual publisher who gave me a copy of this game to play for you guys. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate that. I can't tell you guys enough how much it means to me that you guys are watching me and that people are actually letting me play copies of the games for you guys. I can't tell you enough how much it means. So guys, thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. We're going to go ahead and play Beholder though. I'm pretty excited about it. All I know about this game, because I've, I've been kind of, I'm usually pretty cryptic when I try to start a new game. I try not to look at too much. I know that this one's about a totalitarian state. I know that you're watching people and it's, I don't know, there's something exciting about that. So we're going to go ahead and get into it, guys. Pretty excited about it. So let's go ahead and start a new game. Oh, Government Elite experienced the game as it was meant to be played with difficult choices and challenges. Trainee, the state will go easy on you, key items will cost less, and you'll make more money. Oh man, I've never played the game before, so I feel like I gotta play as a trainee. Okay, let's go ahead and start as a trainee. I don't know if that, does that mean I'm gonna play it like multiple times? Oh, when intent does something illegal, the action icon turns red. Oh. All right, here we go. So, dear Carl Stein, we are happy to announce you've been appointed to the landlord of Class D apartment block on Crushweiss 6, I think that's right. You must go there immediately and begin working. We have given you your given you and your family an apartment on the first floor. This the experimental drug we injected into your system. Whoa, during your mental exam suppresses your need for sleep. What the fuck? Thus you will be able to spend more time serving your motherland. Welcome to the elite official rank ministry of allocation. Dear Carl Stein. We are happy to announce you've been appointed a landlord of the Class D apartment block on Kruschwitz 6. You must arrive there immediately and start working. Your family are given an apartment on the first floor. The experimental medicine you've been injected with during the medical checkout suppresses your need for sleep. Thus, you will be able to spend more time serving your motherland. Welcome to the Elite Official Rank, Ministry of Allocation. All right, so here we go, guys. This is the chief. Uh, question mark or exclamation point. Whoa, I can't even speak English. Exclamation point means a character is ready to give you a task. Press on X to begin a conversation and navigate Ooh, through it. You must be Carl. Good afternoon. On behalf of the Ministry of Order, I welcome you to your new position. What's going on? We're merely driving pests out of the house. It's of no concern to you. Sure. As you wish. Your predecessor was unable to cope with the easiest tasks. If a person occupying an important position can't cope with a small task, there's only one outcome. He did that intentionally, i.e. he became an outlaw. As of now, everything your tenant do does is your business. I read that wrong. <laughs> and the word everything means... The word everything means absolutely everything. You will follow their every step and document any suspicious activity. 
That is, if you want to earn a reputation for being a good public servant. If you're going to be a perfect beholder, document hobbies, interests, and even conversations. Uh, how can I do this? Observe and record. Surveillance cameras will help. Let's start at the beginning. Have you ever managed an apartment building before, Carl? Do you need my help? Uh, yeah, I need the tutorial. I need your help! Thanks, Bruno! I'll help you, but keep your eyes peeled, and don't miss a thing. Here's your journal. It is located on the right side of your screen. Oh, that looks like it's being cut off a little bit. Okay. I might have to fix the area here. Scroll through the tabs to look at it. Oh, okay, so it's meant to be a little bit off screen. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I was a little worried at first. I was like, ah, I can't see. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Then we'll continue our talk. Okay. So I look through it. We're good. Dot, dot, dot. Let's come back to surveillance. Set up a surveillance cameras in your house to simplify your work. According to our documentation, your predecessor received two of them. Find them in your office, which is to the right of this room. To the right? Okay, I know right from left. Yes, I know my voices are always horrible. You can search pieces of furniture to try this. Go to the table and press X. Okay. X. Magnifying glass. What's in here? That's the surveillance equipment. Here we go. Okay, take them all. Take them all. Okay, come back. What's this phone for? Okay, no, I don't want to talk to nobody. I don't think this guy would like it if I didn't do exactly what he said. Oh, Great, you found the cameras. Install them in the dining hall. Follow me. Yes, I know my voice is awful. Accept it! Hi, family. Go to the alarm and press on X, the camera you want to install. To remove the camera, press on oh, the box. Set up a surveillance camera. This is important. You'll have to, over and over. Otherwise, you'll never learn what your tenants do. I mean, we just do what we're told, right? I mean, I think that's the whole point. If we don't do it, then we're going to get yelled at. Set up a surveillance camera. This is important. You'll have to, over and over. Otherwise, you'll... Wait, I already did that. End the conversation. Okay, I did that already. Let's go to the alarm, press X, select the camera you want to move. Yeah. To remove the camera, press on the box. So I have to do that. I guess. Okay. We'll want to leave it installed, I'm assuming. Okay, Bruno, I've done it. Oh, it me oh, uh oh. Uh, install the camera. I already did. Oh, I guess I have to install both. That's probably what it is. Sorry about that. I'm an idiot. Here we go. Bruno, oh, you're doing fine. Here's your first reward. Spend your money on things you need. You'll find them at our shop. You'll receive surveillance cameras as you earn reputation points. Reputation points show your standing with the public. You receive them for completing tasks. You can also use them for personal gain in order to persuade the people around you to do what you want them to do. Unfortunately, I have issues to deal with at the Ministry. However, you can call me any time from your office using your private line and ask me anything. By the way, Carl, I strongly encourage you to answer the phone. Remember, you and I serve our great people, and completing the orders of the Ministry is our bread and butter. It's also our air and water. I read those backwards. Here's the main thing. Several tenants are at risk. Your predecessor couldn't handle things. We're hoping you'll do better. Just tell me how! First of all, watch the tenants closely. File a report as soon as you gather evidence. The police will take care of the rest. Between ourselves, our great state can be very grateful to those who do their work well. The Ministry can turn a blind eye to forgery and blackmail if they help you achieve your goal. Uh, I'll do my best! I like your enthusiasm, but be slow to call our department. You can always ask your wise tutor for advice. Our last instruction. One last instruction. The key I gave you opens every door in the building. Make sure your tenants leave their apartments before you enter it. Many citizens still think that their private life is their business. Let it be so. Now get to work! 
Ba -ba -da -ba. Okay, let's get to work. Hey, son. Yes, father. Uh, talk about work. I don't like your new job, father. Your boss is nasty. Do you like eating food and studying at the university? Wear new clothes? Maybe you'll support us then. I'll never take... Uh, I'll try to find a job. I'll study and work at the same time. <laughs> I hope so. I hate the mines, father. I'd rather die than work as a slave. Oh, talk about the mines. Have you changed your mind about being a miner? I hate mines, father. I'd rather die than work as a slave. Okay, I get it. Ask what the news. Uh, let's see. I haven't missed a single class. To be honest, I didn't think you could secure a place in the university for me. Be a diligent student, son. That place costs a lot. I won't let you down, father. Oh, I like this kid. I swear I'd escape if I were sent to a mine. I hate the mines, father. Keep your cool. I've told you a hundred times that working in the mines is hard, but well respected. What about household chores? I'm trying to help around the house. I played with Martha recently. Oh, great. Well, I had to play with my kid and sister. That was pretty awful. Hi, Martha. Will you play with me? Not now, Martha. Ask about the house. Do you like our new house? I like him very much. He's big. And you? I like him too. Oh, it must have been boss. <laughs> oh, we have three rooms. We used to have just one. Moreover, we have a TV. Will they take our TV, Dad? No, honey. Nobody will take it. Patrick says they sometimes show a cartoon. Cool. Whoa, what was that? I heard a noise. Oh, it's just my kid eating. Hey, Patrick, I'm gonna call you Patty. Sup, Patty? Okay, so I need some more cameras. Oh, hello. Mm -hmm. This is wife. What, Carl? I saw the police march a handcuffed person right by me. It frightened me. Who was that, Carl? The previous building manager. He didn't handle his duties well. What a nightmare. Carl, couldn't the same thing happen to you? Don't worry, honey. I'll be a good manager. <laughs> sure. Sure I will. Maybe not. What's this? Nothing's going on. Nothing's happening. Ah! Do I trust my own family? Let's check out the desk. Anything else in here? I doubt it. Oh, there is things. Why not? I might as well grab them. Okay. So let's look here. So, Ascension. My boss said to call the ministry to receive instructions. So call the ministry. New government directive received. Hello. Okay, Ministry of Order, your call is accepted. Hello, Carl. You've learned your main duties. Are you ready to receive a task? Establish surveillance in apartment 2. Jacob Menashek lives there. You can always buy the cameras you need at the state shop. Only enter attendance apartment when they're not home, and be careful. Okay, press on R2 and use the right stick to zoom into the house. Press on L2 to see which floor you're on. In the menu that opens, use the left stick to move to another floor. Okay. So here we go. Crime and punishment. Watch Jacob Menashek. You can buy cameras at the store, search apartment 2, install the camera in apartment 2, and gather data on Jacob. Okay, so we better buy things from the store, though. Uh, so let's see. What can we buy? Surveillance camera, mighty at range, videotaping available. Narrow viewing range. Okay, I see. Let's go ahead and buy ourselves a camera or two. There we go. Let's see. So R2, we actually want to go up to floor 2. So let's go up to floor 2. He must not be in floor 2. He must be in floor 1. I must have read that wrong. He's in number two, floor one. Okay, here we go. We're searching the potted plant now. Okay. Let's knock on it. Oops, did I not push it? Hello! Hello, Jacob! He's not home. Okay. Let's go ahead and 
put a camera in here. This feels a little suspect. Oh, people who steal belongings of others. Okay, okay. Let's look at his phone. Deck of cards likes to gamble. Hmm. Can he like go into his bedroom or no? Okay. Let's look at his bookcase. What is he reading? Oh, we can actually search beds and stuff too. With the bed. That would feel so weird if you were like actually this dude. Nothing comfortable about that. Okay, let's go to zero. Oops. There we go. Okay, zero is where we live with our family. So let's see, let's go down to here. So as of September 1st, 1984, all apples must be destroyed. It is illegal to store or consume. As of the year September, the prop political, production of political propaganda. Let's see, it is illegal to harbor criminals or hide their actions. Okay. Search department two, so gather data on Jacob Manischek. So we just have to wait now at this point. Oh, I can search my own stuff. What if I find out like, my own family is bad or something? I'm just taking all this stuff. I have no idea what the point of taking it is. So now I just wait for him to... Let's see, reference. What would you like to know? Collecting tenant data. Okay, search the apartments and examine the personal belongings of your tenants. Their descriptions might contain important information. Select an item with the information press. Okay. Talk to your tenants if they say something important. Put it on file. Okay. So I've got to keep track of our dudes here. So I probably missed something in there. No one in there. So let's go in again. So I guess what we do now is we... Okay, so we have to press triangle to read things. Okay. Likes to gamble. Now! Okay, I get it, I get it. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So this is how we learn things. So there was something in here. What was in here? Broken bottle or something, right? I don't think there was anything in here. I assume eventually this gets like nerve wracking and you have to pay attention. Oh, actually, oh my god, what if that's the guy? Okay, it's not the guy. <laughs> oh, that scared me. I was like, what if that's the guy? So what else do I need to learn about this guy? So call the ministry, okay. So I have a little bit of information on him, so I'm assuming that should be enough. I don't know what the ministry really needs to know. Hi, family. I hear you're all cool. Okay, dial the number. Okay, ministry of order. I can see this game getting, like, almost creepy. Congratulations, your first task was a success. You are rewarded. Okay, according to our sources, Jacob Manovich, M Manischek, sorry, is violating state directives. Spy on him using the surveillance cameras when a camera detects a tenant doing something illegal. The action icon changes colors. Click on the icon to add the evidence to the dossier. Attach the evidence you gather to your report. All right. When it opens information about tenants, press on the right stick to fix this in the tenant profile. 
Okay. So how do we watch him? Just with this? What does this do? There's Jacob. Select the evidence and then press on. Okay. So we have to watch for him, I guess. Is the whole thing. Oh, there he goes, there he goes. There we go. So he is doing something. Got a letter here. The son of the miners' trade union leader was found unconscious after criminals reportedly pumped him full of drugs. He's being treated and rehabilitated at the hospital. The Ministry of Order advises citizens to be on alert and interfere with any attempts to manufacture and spread drugs. Remember, your child could be next. Voice of truth. Drugs are a huge problem in our society. We should have started dealing with them a long time ago. Not wait for the VIP to get in trouble. By the way, this isn't the first time a well-known son has been the center of a scandal. Was he really a victim? Hmm. Was he? Hello, fancy-looking man. My compliments. Trade. What are you selling today? Take a look. Oh, so why would I buy this stuff? There's obviously going to be a reason later on. I don't know what it is quite yet. We know our friend here isn't uh, on the up and up. See if he opens the door. I mean, he looks a little sketchy. Let's be honest. He looks a little sketch. Kind of like, I don't know if I really trust this guy. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's the bus. Okay. That gets me every time. What do you want? Get acquainted. Okay, let's see. I'm the new building manager. Did I win a competition called Who Gives a Damn About the New Manager? I don't care about you or your deals. That's it? That's all I get out of you? Why are you sniffing around here? Don't you have anything better to do? It's my duty to look after the building. Watch yourself. It's not as though nothing bad could happen to your family. Ooh, motherfucker. I don't know. I don't really like him. Can I talk to this guy? Hi, Klaus! He seems nicer. Klaus Shimmer? You'll manage the building that used to belong to my family. Oh, the previous manager had turned it into junk. I hope you can fix it. I'll do my best. Did the house belong to you? That's right, it used to belong to my family. I wanted to turn it into a boarding house for gifted children. It was converted into a residence hall instead. That isn't so bad. You haven't seen the living quarters on level D. You're right, our situation could be worse. At least we're free. One can play chess at liberty. This is expensive. Okay, so I learned something about that person. How about you, M Maria? Hello. It's nice to meet you. Did you bring your family here? We just moved in. It would be nice to meet you. That's it. Okay, that must be it. She doesn't have a whole lot to say to me. Just search this potted plant again just for the hell of it. This guy's gonna do something. If we can get a better. Okay, so we need to report him officially. Let's talk to these people real quick. Good afternoon! Hello, miss. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Carl and I'm the building manager. Rosa Renek! See, you must be... You must have met my naughty husband. We have a son, too. He's just like you, but he lives in the capital. Ask about the son. Our dear boy has become a boss. I haven't seen him in a long time. So long ago. Oh. Mark has been working in the archives his entire life. He likes his job. He deals with a lot of papers, but not many people. He spends his vacation in the company of his fishing rod. So he's a dude who likes to fish. Nice to meet you, too, lady. Hey, Mark. What do you want from the archivists? Oh, I just want to get acquainted. 
she is a respected archivist. I have to live in this disgusting apartment. I hope you'll put everything here in order. I'll do my best. Try harder. You need to get the... Oh, whoa. Ask about the wife. Rosa works in the cafeteria, always in the kitchen. She loves baking buns and cake so much, she does it for a living. I wish she didn't smell like cabbage. Ooh, why doesn't she smell like buns and cakes? That's a question I have. Okay, so we know something about these people now. Okay, so we know a little bit of something something. Likes to fish. Okay, let's go ahead and report this dude. Obviously, he is sketchy sketch. Or at least they want us to think he's sketchy sketch. Sorry, family. Hope you're having a good day. I'm working. Oh, I have to go write the report first. Okay. Desk. And write the report. Oh, come on, come on. Okay. Write a report. So we're writing it on Mr. Manischek. We need apartment number two, violated directive number. Oops, not that one. Not that one. Okay, how do I get to the next one? Oh, okay, here we go, here we go. Okay. Ensure that each field is filled in correctly and then press on square to submit your report. Be careful. You'll be fined for mistakes. Okay. Real quick, let's go through these. Okay, so directive 6040. Okay. So, yes, it's Jacob number two. Okay. Okay, didn't I just write the report? I think I just wrote the report, though. Wait. Did I not write the report? Write a report. No, I've already written it. Okay. Profile attendant, blackmail writer. Your results will be shown here. So I've already re report, re written the report. Documenting characteristics, writing reports. Here we go. Fill in the data and the tenants you are filing. Send reports to the Ministry of Order. They will be checked. If the form is filled in correctly and the evidence is valid, the tenant will be punished and you will be rewarded. If the form isn't filled out correctly or the evidence isn't valid, you'll be fined. Okay. So we already did that. I'm not sure why it's still telling us to start writing the report. We definitely wrote the report. Do we have to send it in, though? Report on... The police went to the apartment to inspect it. So wait, is, are they already at his apartment? I have to go check? Maybe that's what I have to do. I might have done something wrong. I don't know. Oh no, here they are. I wonder if I can get my camera back. I might as well leave it, I guess. I talk to this police officer or anything? Hey there! Here we go! Okay, let's go ahead and grab this letter. What's going on now? The Ministry of Truth has not noticed a rising interest in philosophy books, including the works of Paul Williams, who died a century ago. His writings describe obsolete ideas Ooh, that have be been proven to be unrealistic. However, they still capture people's minds. The ministry believes the notion of a society without government in which the freedom of personal choice exists is dangerous and should be destroyed in all of its forms. Voices of truth. So, the fact that our society is capable of understanding Paul Williams' ideas in mass proves his unique talent and ability to word things simply. We should encourage interest in the great thinkers of the past if we want to progress and initiate a dialogue between people and the state. Philosophy is nonsense. Okay. New message received. Okay. So I guess I have to go downstairs for that. Okay. New message received. Where do I get my new message? Wait. Did I do something wrong? I 
feel like I did something wrong again. All right. So I must repair the apartment following Manichek's arrest and find a new tenant. Repair apartment two, find a tenant for apartment two. Okay. That's my wife reading. Hmm. Can you trust your own wife? I mean, isn't that just our eating quarters? Do I really need to install anything in there, like camera-wise? Okay, so how do I repair this? Maybe, is this part of the shop? Okay, here we go. Cabinet, maker's kit. Okay, so I guess we'll buy these two things. And then maybe... I can't now, can I? Huh. So wait, how do I repair it and find a tenant? Wait a minute. I know what I'm doing, guys. Hold on. Give me a second. Alright, guys. I just realized there's a box right here. Maybe... Maybe that has something to do with something? I guess let's look through the box first. There might be something in here that's useful. Okay. I took all that stuff, but I'm not sure I should have it. I think we gotta be a little more careful. Okay. So I need to find a tenant. I totally could've got hit by a bus there. So how do I find a new tenant? I'm not exactly sure how to do this part. Okay. Hold on, guys. Alright, guys. So apparently we need to go into the profile, and that's how we do it. Okay, gotcha. Oh, man, that costs a lot of money. Okay, so let's see. We can make a choice. Famous cardio surgeon looking for a long-term rental guaranteed to be a decent tenant. Let's see. We'll rent a cutty for a couple weeks. Well, I think it's obvious we would go with Aloysius. I mean, that feels more useful to me, right? Let's go see. Yeah, okay, yeah, here he is. Hello! Mr. Aloysius, you don't want to talk to me? I was trying to speak to you. Yeah, let's see if he'll come out. So your cameras do stay in there, though. That's what I'm learning right now. So Aloysius, hello! Meet. I'm here to introduce myself. I'm Carl, the landlord. I'm honored. I'm Dr. Aloysius Schbach, a physician. You must have heard about me. The entire city did. Of course I heard of you. Please don't praise me. I was only doing my duty. Just doing my duty. Uh, that's great. Let me know if you need anything. Oh, what problems could I possibly have? Nothing. You're very busy. Are you okay? Oh, busy, busy, busy. Patients fight over me. Are you a doctor? That's the real one. Don't you doubt it. And I can cure even a healthy man. I say especially healthy. Any education? Are you kidding? I've decided my- I've dedicated my life to treating people. Your doubts hurt me. Sorry, this is a demanding job. How can you, dear? Here's a good way for you to relax. Just be reasonable. Oh. Well, thanks, Aloysius. I'm not sure booze is okay, though. Let's see. Call the Ministry and report the completion of your task. Okay, better call the Ministry. I was gonna say, I don't have anyone new to spy on. Although now that those cameras are there, I can still spy on Mr. Aloysius. At least I assume that's how you say that. I could totally be off base. I usually am. <laughs> Alright, so dial the number. Your poor task. Oh, sorry, I keep forgetting. I have to go forward. Congratulations, your task was a success. Let's see, some to my accounts. Awesome. If you miss a call from the Ministry of Order, you'll be fined. You must be in your apartment at all times and answer the phone when it rings. Even if you're dying, do you understand? Yes. <laughs> you got rid of the violator. Now survey your tenant's opinions on Shimmer. 
Find out what other people think about him. Document his characteristics after you're done with the survey. Get to work. All right, so let's see. That which is hidden will be revealed. 48 hours. Trust and care. So first, wait a minute. Let's look. What apartment are they in? We must talk to the tenants about sh Shimmer. Okay. I haven't been paying much attention to my family lately. I should talk with them. Okay, let's do that real quick. Can't talk to the sun. I can't wake up the children. <laughs> okay, fine. What is he writing? I can't talk to you, boy. Oh, fine. I'll catch up with him later. No! There goes my son! There we go. Okay. Do you need anything? I have an issue, father? What do you want? I know his classes have started and we were given a list of books to read. The books I need for school. I stopped by the bookstore and they don't have these books. I heard I could get used ones at the market, but they cost a fortune. Can you ask your friends? Perhaps someone you know has these books? You talk to wise people. I'm thinking about what I can do for you. Let's see, the news. I think we've done all this. Yeah, I've done all this. I don't need anything else for you, child. And the conversation with you, child. Oh, I keep talking to him on accident. Sorry. I was like, what the hell am I doing? That's what I'm doing. Okay. I think Shimmer. Let's see, what apartment are you in? Is this him? Yeah, Klaus Shimmer, apartment one. Okay, so he is actually down one. So there is someone in there. Oh, she's listening to music. You're not supposed to do that. He might be leaving. Uh. Now can I talk to you, wife? No. Ding by gooey is my hood face. Ding by gooey is my hood face. Ding by gooey is my hood face. Ding by gooey. Let's see, I need to talk to you. Ask about Shimmer. He's fine. He's wanted to talk to us. So much joy. Oh my gosh. She won't just answer the question. What did she want to talk about? Okay. I'm sure there are great people in your... Okay. Ooh, smoking kills. Okay. So one of them is a smoker. What do you need from the archivist? Let's see. Oh, the library, it's quiet in there. It's a nice place for a young men to spend time. Can't you spend your money on something more useful than books? Thanks, but I doubt my son appreciates your advice. Oh, wow, okay. I want to ask you about Klaus. What do you want to know? Tell the truth about it. Give a vague reply. I don't know anything you don't know. More of a curiosity is a terrible sin. I had a coworker who would always poking who was always poking his nose at other people's business and documents. What happened to him? He was sent to jail! You've learned more than you have to. Goodbye, young man. Oh fine. Can I tell my son what that idiot said? Yeah, probably not helpful. Okay, that's Rosa. That means his wife might still be in here. Yeah, she is. Okay. So here she comes. I think she's leaving. Oh, hello, Maria!
watching. Oh shit, I just stole. I didn't mean to steal! I wonder if I can put things back. Okay. Can I read this diary? again. Hold on. Now, can I put things back? Because I didn't actually want to steal that. What did I accidentally take out of here? Shit, I don't know what I accidentally took. Yeah, I have no idea what I accidentally took out of his apartment. like nerve-wracking books okay so far these seem like lovely people okay I feel like we should get out of here I need to definitely buy more cameras. That's the first thing I need to do. Okay, let's actually go back inside. Well, hold on. Let's wait to see who comes off this bus. It might be them. It is. It's him. Okay. So I want to go in right now. Oh man, this is nerve-wracking. <laughs> Let's see where he goes. Let's see if we can talk to him. Educated person, where can I find books? Well known to me, blah blah blah. Oh. Thank you, Klaus. I feel really bad now. Oh, I feel bad now. I used to give them up and his keys are horrible things. Okay. Well, I have a feeling he's probably gonna go back to his house. Let me try and talk to my family finally. Hello. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah. Domestic problems. I need your help, honey. I can't find a big enough saucepan. I searched every nook and cranny, and I have no idea where it is. Maybe someone stole it. Should we call the police? Call the police because of an old saucepan. Don't even think of this. You must have left it in our old house. If you say so. Can you ask the tenants about saucepans? I hope they won't reject the new manager. I'll make a compote for Martha and bring it back. Okay, I'll ask the neighbors about a saucepan. Let's go ask our daughter. She clearly needs something. What's wrong? What's wrong, little one? Will you play with me? Not now, Martha. What happened, sweetheart? Something bad happened, Dad. I lost her toy. I don't know how to say that. It's nowhere to be found. That's my doll. It's my favorite doll, Dad. Will you help me find it? You scared me, Martha. Where did you last play with it? At home. It was too small to walk outside. Find her, please. Okay, so let's see what we got. I haven't been paying much attention to my family. Find books and economics for Patrick. Oh, come here, Patrick. Come here. No, no, no. Come here. Patrick. Yes. Okay. Here are your books. There we go. Nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't ha happen to have a saucepan on me, do I? See the doll, old doll Martha plays with? She can't find it. This is why she's upset and afraid to talk to me. Maybe it's behind the wardrobe or under the bed. Okay. 
Just want to make sure I didn't like accidentally pick it up or something. I need the wardrobe are under the bed, so let's go back here. There we go, old doll! Wallets. Patriotic Tales for Kids. So here you go, here's your doll. Oh. Want me to tell you about it? Be a miner buried under rubble and I'll be her rescuer. Oh. My child's building coal mines. That's just sad. What do you want, Aloysius? Hello! Do you want to talk? I have a request, a very private one. I'm all ears. Due to the demands of my profession, I have no time for personal matters. Saving people 24-7 is my civic duty. I know it's hard to believe that looking at me, but I'm very shy around women. Whoa, I'm confused and blushing. And every inch of my extremely gifted self is sweating profusely. And what can I do? Get you some deodorant? <laughs> Your wife is amazing, Carl. You clearly know a lot about dealing with women. I'm lonely. Find me a woman, Carl. <laughs> Should be a good woman to have in the bedroom and the kitchen. Um... Aloysius, my dear, that is a very strange thing to ask me. You better go answer the phone, Carl. Do I need to pick up the phone right now? No, okay. Only Aloysius asked me to find him a girlfriend. And wants to borrow a pot from the neighbors. So I still need to talk to Rosa. Okay. So I didn't actually need anything. Check this out. Mr. Drew, the Nose of the and philosophy books. Young, pretty, social, active girl would like to meet a well to do man for a serious relationship. Okay. Wait a minute. Did I not like, take that with me? Oh. You'll be glad you did. Okay. So maybe can I tell him about that? I mean, I could tell him about the girl. Oh, I guess I could call her, too. Myself. Okay, let's take a peek inside. There's no one in there. Let's get back in there. <gasps> oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! I didn't see her! <gasps> no! Apologize, leave. Sorry about that. I'm already leaving. Leave it once. I'm leaving. I'm so sorry. Uh oh. I totally got caught. Okay. So apartment three, I think, is that other couple, right? Yeah, apartment three. Okay. Oh, she's calling someone. Who are you calling? I totally meant to call. I mean to knock. I should have knocked. Okay, so I need to talk to the woman, though. I don't think I need to talk to the man. I talk to him. Okay, just awkwardly came to your house, knocked on the door, and then immediately left. No! <laughs> <laughs> they were both in there. <laughs> I'm so bad at this game. What are you doing here? Apologize and leave. Even once. I'm so sorry. I'm already gone. Bye bye. <laughs> okay. I think I can sell things to this guy. Let's see. Um. Okay, I can sell things to him. Broken bottle. Do any of these things matter? I mean, like, do I need to... I don't know if I need to keep those things. He's right there, so, like, I can't obviously go into his house. Um, that's with the saucepan. Here we go. Do a saucepan. I'm gonna talk to my wife. 
Let's see. So we're going to senior economists. Okay. So let's see. Who's downstairs? His wife may know. Mm -hmm. Maria! Mm -hmm. Hello! Can you do me a favor? Can I borrow one of your sauce saucepans? I see this little saucepan. Here it is! Fabulous. Thank you. We'll bring it back. There's no need for this. My husband and I live alone and we don't touch this. Please accept it as a house <laughs> gift. No, not you, kid. I don't have anything to say to you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. How's your husband doing? He looks upset. He doesn't feel well. He received a parcel containing a reel of film. Klaus likes taking photos. This will cheer him up. Okay. Are you going back into your house? Because... Oh, that's Rosa! I need to talk to Rosa. Hi, Rosa! Okay, talk about the sauce. Oh, not the saucepan. Ask about Klaus. Sorry. Does he bother you? He's a person of worth. He helped me acquire a nest bottle of Xerxes. He's an expert in wine. Okay. And lady, the doctor, I have a niece who's excellent in marriage material. She's smart and beautiful. As I was in my youth, at last, she doesn't live in our city. I can send her a telegram. And invite her. Let him come, and I'll introduce him to her. Okay. Let's go ahead and go into the apartment again. We know no one's there this time. I will admit, they've been pretty forgiving of me screwing up. I think if you're going to do something, you'd do it over... Oh shit, that might be one of them. Just in case, let's head. Nope. Neither of them. Okay. I might as well use all my cameras. Why not? This might be them. Get out, get out, get out. Nope, wasn't them either. <laughs> okay. So let's go ahead and go down to zero. Talk to Aloysius. Okay. Any preference? Would you like to meet anyone? I found a girlfriend for you. Uh, can't wait to meet her. She should come to visit her aunt soon. That's great. What a relief. I'm going to no longer be lonely. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. So we did one. So I must profile Klaus Shimmer. Um, and I must borrow a pot. That's right, that's right, that's right. Okay. Wife! Speak to me! So we must write a tenant profile. Oop, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to write this. Okay, so profile a tenant. Klaus. Those are Maria, tobacco salesman. Doesn't really give me an option to change things in the report. Go down. It's under the apartment building, tobacco salesman. I mean, I think. Pretty sure this is right. Okay. Pretty sure we did that right. So what do I use the actual money for? Actually, let's look here first. That's right, my wife. Mm -hmm. Anna! Mm -hmm. oh. Talk about the saucepan! Blah, blah, blah. Okay, quiet wife. You have things now. Okay. That which is hidden will be revealed. Call the ministry and report the completion of tasks. Alright, here we go. Oh man. You can tell this game is going to get like this war of ours where it just, uh. Where it starts to hurt my heart after a while. Okay, so report a task. 
Time to act, Comrade Cowl. You must evict Klaus Shimmer. <gasps> what will happen to his wife? We don't care about her. Do what you think is best. How can I evict him? Talk with him. We'd be fine with him moving out. It would be better if you report him when he violates our directives. This is your duty, Comrade Carl. Oh, I don't want to kick him out. He seems like a nice fellow. He gave me books for my son. No. He seems like a nice guy. Oh. Hi, Klaus. Oh. I guess I'll threaten him with eviction. Uh, I was told you spy on me, is that true? Excuse yourself, you work for the government, Carl. People expect you to be willing to do whatever it takes to get the job done. You disappoint me, we have nothing to talk about. I'm actually sorry. Like, I feel bad. I didn't want to kick you out. Mm -hmm. Hi, Sarah. What? Waterman? Uh, hello? Uh, I'm Sarah Watermach, the Rennick's niece. I'm here to meet the doctor. I have nowhere to stay, so I'll be living here. In which apartment does Aloysius live? I can't let you go go to Aloysius yet. We need to talk first. Stay here. Where would I go? I have nowhere to stay. What's going on? Ministry order, 239 hours. I press square. Oh, that pauses. What am I doing? Okay, so there's a new ministry order. Find a way to evict Klaus Shimmer. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I told him he had to leave. Is he not going to get out of here? Okay, I mentioned the woman at the door. The woman at the doorstep, she says she came to see you. Really, that's strange, but let's see. Why is it strange? You should have known. Oh, there we go. Love connection. I wish it was that easy for me to get a love connection. So I don't understand. I do have something on Klaus. After what you said, Comrade Carl, there's no point in talking further. Burn in hell. So I'm going to have to report him. I have to report him, I guess. I'm sorry, Mr. Shimmer. Schwimmer. Sh 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 shamer. Let's see. Okay, Klaus. He didn't violate anything, though. He's actually a good guy. The blackmail letter. Okay, I don't know how to do this now. How do I... I mean, he won't leave. Um, let's see. Let's hmm. Darn it, I didn't, uh... I mean, if he doesn't leave, what do I do? Find a way to evict him. I guess I have to figure I have to catch him doing something wrong, but I don't catch him doing something wrong. Oh here we go, here we go, here we go. Ex owner's wife. She's not allowed to that she wasn't allowed to play music or something. Is that one of the orders? Singing in front of the Ministry of Order is prohibited. Okay. So not yet. Is it illegal to wear or sell jeans? Some weird things that are illegal. I guess I have nothing to say to her. Dang it. How do I kick him out? 
Imported soda is prohibited. I think he's in there. Yeah, he is. Maybe he'll leave though. I don't want to use my reputation points. I mean, if I use my reputation points, that's not good, right? Let's buy some cameras. Okay, there's no one in there now. So I guess I have to find contraband. Shit, she just of course showed up right as I went in. I guess we'll just search their stuff again. What about back here? Is there anything back here? No. Let's see. It's illegal to own these books. <gasps> got something. Got something. Okay. So Aloysius has got quite the girlfriend now, huh? Okay. okay, so we do have something on him now. So do we wait for him to come back? Hold on, guys. Alright, guys. I think we can get him arrested now. It should evict him. So let's go ahead and get him arrested. And that should help. So we have to do this. And then... Write a report. And this is Klaus. Okay, and what he had was this. So we need to write... Or we need to make sure... Let's see, Klaus. Yes, Klaus. Okay. So we need to make sure that we have the right dates. So September 3rd, 1984... 6042, there's an apartment one. Okay, so there we go. The police went to the apartment immediately to inspect it. So they should be checking his apartment. Let me check it with the wife real quick. Nah, Rosa. And uh, Chocolates Candy. I talked to our neighbor Carl, they're really nice. I was told the man in the top hat walks by the house occasionally you can buy things from him. What things? Antiques? Don't you have enough things? Listen to me first. Ah, oh, blah, blah, blah. Master, bring people down. Oh my gosh, you too. Selling new household appliances. The old woman on the second floor showed me the perfume soap she bought from him last month. I don't have anything like that now, but you can take a look at other useful items. Am I swear a top hat is a magician? <laughs> Stop bothering with your silly question. Oh, you can go buy sweets for our daughter. Okay, tell me about sweets for Martha. Chocolate for our little one. It wasn't even asked for a bar. Strawberry perfume bar myself. If so, the kids... Okay. So we'll buy something for our daughter. I guess she should get something. I guess. So they are checking his apartment right now. There we go, they found the books. There he is. I'm so sorry, Klaus. I'm so sorry. I actually didn't want to do this. Oh, I actually feel really bad about this. <gasps> Oh my god! No, 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 no! I don't feel good about this! Why are you beating him? He's an old, frail man! Oh gosh, Aloysius, what do you want? Somebody's gonna get married, did you hear me? Getting married? Okay, great. 
My request, I want to make Sarah a gift, but I don't know her very well. I don't even know what she likes. Can you ask around about her? Ooh, chicken innards pie. That sounds disgusting. Oh, oh, there's something there. Okay. I don't really need to know any more about her. Let me talk to Sarah herself. See, I adore Carl, trust me. Let's see, learn what happened. What happened? Martha is sick, Carl. You have no medicine at home. Can you find some aspirin? Wait in line forever. Okay, so I need to get some aspirin. I'd be surprised if she talked to me. She loves flowers. Okay, that's a good one. Let's tell Aloysius that. Let's see. Talk about gathering info. She loves flowers. A million red roses. Sarah needs a veil. Okay, hold on. Let's ask him about uh, aspirin. Very smart to say this, but no, but I have no right to prescribe or receive medications. You have to go to the hospital. Oh, man. Talk about the veil. Okay, you asked for a veil. White and lacy. A veil is a luxury. I'll do what I can to find it for you. Rose. Good afternoon. Do you have a veil? A veil is a strange request. I'm already married. It's for Aloysius. I heard I still have a veil for my wedding, but it's a souvenir. Oh, I guess. Fine. I guess I'll use it. Okay, one pack of strong black tea would be an even trade. Well, does he have the tea? Okay, well, I guess I have to get the tea. I guess I should probably check on my daughter. Can I even talk to her? No, okay. Go to the first floor. Okay. I need to file my completion report still. Ooh, his wife wants something. She went to bed. Okay. Oh, shit. I think she's still coming to the door. Okay, let me grab stuff from this guy real quick. What are you selling today? Take a look. So I need chocolate for the child. Does he not have any? Or no, okay, that's that's his. Okay, sorry. Black tea, let's buy that. Chocolate candy. Um, chocolate bar. Okay. Let's see what's going on with her. I'm pretty sure she's mad at me. I'm sorry. You know what, ma'am? I didn't mean to do it to you. I really didn't. I didn't want to hurt your husband. Hello. Talk about your husband's arrest. I don't know what happened. They just arrived and arrested Klaus. They beat him before they dragged him away. Luggage. We've packed everything. Maria, I don't know what to say. Do you have another place to stay? I don't know. Klaus is my only close friend. How can I live without him? Let's be nice. I hope so anyway. I'll wait on the court and then make my decision. I won't stay in this apartment any longer. They beat him. I saw it with my own eyes. Oh, gosh. That does not feel good, guys. That doesn't feel good. I don't like this. I don't like this. Oh, I forgot to get aspirin for my daughter. Shit. Okay, I'm sorry. I forgot to get aspirin for the baby. Let's, uh, let's call it in for helping catch a criminal. Propaganda banners in your building. We need to increase patriotism among your tenants. There is unrest in the city. Stay alert, Comrade Carl. Oh, I feel so bad. Okay, hold on. Martha, Martha. You'll make me feel better. You play with me, not now. 
Um, your mom asked me to buy you some sweets. She said she's never eaten anything like this before. I'm waiting for you to buy them. Mommy will give me one. Give me one each time I have tea. Okay. How do you feel? Mom says I feel sick. I don't want sweets. I have a fever. But you'll buy me some aspirin and I'll be healthy again. Oh, my poor baby girl. Oh, everybody's unhappy. Why is everyone unhappy? <laughs> what, Carl? Oh, no. Oh, Carl. Oh, guys, I'm feeling so bad right now. I have, like, a level of guilt that is just... Oh, man. Oh, I feel so guilty right now. I don't know if I can play this game. <laughs> I wanted to play it. I was, like, so excited. I was like, oh, man. I'll be able to do this, but... Oh, my gosh. Grandma like her poppy pretzels. Okay. Got any tea? Yep. Black ones. Here's the veil. Oh, man. Oh, what's going on? Okay. There's something going on outside. Oh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh. What is going on? God, you're all okay. Everyone's okay. Just, just relax. Oh my gosh, what the hell just happened? I need to fix things apparently in their apartment. Oh shit, I gotta get down there to answer the phone. Run, Carl! With the phone! Emergency call! There's unrest in the city. It's dangerous to go outside. Obviously, stay calm and repair every anything in the house that's broken. You have two days. Okay. Repair. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. I wonder if we need a different repair kit for every single one. I hope not. Okay, no, we don't. Oh, thank I was a little worried for a second. It's a good thing I bought those repair kits. Oh, I don't have a... I don't have the right one. Oh, shit. I wonder if that guy is out on the street. Okay, let's go up to one. Yeah, he is. He's out on the street. Okay, we need to buy another repair kit. And some aspirin. Okay, so we need a repair kit and some aspirin. So aspirin. Just gotta spend the money. Oh shit, I don't have a repair kit, really? You have a repair kit! Oh shit. Why do I not have a repair kit? That's a better question. Oh, wait, I think I have to buy one from these guys. Yeah, I have to buy it from these guys. That's why. Okay. Okay, now I have it. So can I just go into my tenant's apartments? I mean, do I have to wait for them? I would think as long as I'm fixing things... Like, why can't I just be in their apartment to fix things? Oh, I have to use one every single time?! You've got to be kidding me. This only has one use? Fine. Come on, Sarah. Do 
see if she lets me in to repair her stuff. Can I, like, ask her? Hello? Furniture repair? Okay, here we go. Yeah, she'll let me in. Oh, I need more furniture repair kits. Okay. I might as well just buy multiple ones. Did he just fall down? I mean, he's like on the floor. That's... What's going on? What's going on? What's happening? Oh, he just died. <gasps> oh my gosh, he died! What the hell? Did she kill him? Did that bitch kill that man? I'm gonna be honest, I don't blame her. <laughs> There's no way she loved him already. Come on. Girl be lying. Hello, furniture repair? There we go. Let's repair all your stuff. I only have two days to do it, we gotta go fast. I wonder if we could just all cameras while we're in here. I doubt it. Bet that old guy's coming here. So far they haven't noticed when I install cameras, I've noticed. I don't know, do they notice this? They do! Oh shit. What are you doing here? Furniture repair! Jeez. Oh my gosh, that scared the shit out of me. Okay. We need to go down to our house. Oh my gosh, I was doing furniture repair. You should have seen me doing it. Oh my gosh. This game is crazy. I'll be honest, it's... it's was actually nerve-wracking. Like, it's nerve-wracking when you get caught! Okay. Oh, oh, no, 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 go back, go back, go back. Oh shit, I still need to make propaganda. How do I do that? Oh shit, shit, shit! Hang three banners in the hallway. I think these are the banners. Okay, shit, I still gotta do these. Martha's sick, but she's, like, laying in bed. How am I supposed to know what to do? Wife, come here. Oh, I lost it. I didn't get to do it. Come here, mm -hmm. come here, come here. Mm -hmm. oh. Broken TV. TV's broke. Gosh. And I totally meant to get her. I even bought the aspirin, I just didn't get it to her in time. Look at me, I'm repairing it, I'm repairing it. Are you happy with me now, wife? Look! Do you know what happened? Some your business, Anna. I guess I'll just tell her. Oh, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, mm -hmm. Anna. I know you're probably mad at me. Girl, believe me, I feel ya. Oh, I fucked up on putting up the... I fucked up putting up the, the posters too, didn't I? Oh god, guys. I'm not keeping track of this well at all. Okay. So, let's do this. Um, lease any apartments. So I need to repair these. <laughs> We got the money right now, so let's just repair them. 
Apartment one. Okay, so we have university student, young student looking to rent a room. He's finding apartment ASAP. It's life or death. Oh. Nora, you're going in apartment one. Apartment four will move in that dude. No one else wants in. Okay. Let's meet this new lady. Not, not Rosa. Dora. Dora, I'm trying to meet you. Man, this game is just. This thing is intense. What do you want? I just want to meet you. That's it. Ask my previous address. Oh, who cares where I came from? Uh, sure, I like it, I guess. What's new? Alas, I have nothing to tell you. I don't know anybody here. I had a cold on my first day here. Oh, man, guys. I had to keep a better eye on my people here. Several hours ago, a series of explosions took place at the convenience good storage facility on Christian Street. No one was killed, but 15 people were injured. The situation is under control, so n there's no reason to panic. Now for the weather. You can't tell me that's true. Comrades, we've spoken and spoken loud. The whole city heard. The explosions took place at the plant where the state officials were planning to introduce 14-hour shifts. The government won't listen to our peaceful voices, so let, it hear let them hear our cries for war. We will force them to respect the rights of workers if they continue with their plans. I'll turn the military into rubble. Oh man, so what am I supposed to do? Like, how do I not... Oh man, I don't know what to do. Like, how do I not... How do I help these people instead of hurt them? Alright, we're gonna go in. Shouldn't come to the door, so. Watch, that's probably her getting off the bus, is it? No? Okay. Let's just make sure. I wanna make sure she didn't poison him or something. Something feels wrong about the way he just randomly died. Let's see. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, that doesn't tell me anything. Except for maybe that she likes to cook, but I mean. Let's see. Nothing there. I mean, it's possible they're all just like good people, right? They don't have to be bad people, do they? It feels so weird that he just like died. Hold on, hold on, hold on, what was that? Empty bottles. Oh shit, that's probably her, it's probably her, it's probably her. It is, it is, it is, it's her. She did, she killed him, she killed him, she killed him. Okay, she's going down, so she killed him, she killed him, she killed him. She killed him! Why isn't this something I could put on here? This bitch killed him! I'm getting frustrated. I can't do anything with that one, can I? Come on, let me do something with that one. Armchair. No, I don't want the armchair. behind there if something happens. Oh, who's this old chap? George Danton. Get acquainted. Or are you a new tenant? I know everyone who lives in this building, but this is the first time I've seen you. We don't know each other, but I hope to become friends. My name is George Danton. 
We trust it. After that, I want you to... Wait, what? You give him this box. Why don't you do it yourself? I have my reasons. You'll know them after you do me the favor. There's only one condition. Do not open the box. You divide people. I assure you we have opposing goals. The only thing you need to know now is I will pay a good price for the case. Very well. Do you agree? Take the box and bring it to my office. I'm not giving it to that kid. Bringing it to that kid. We'll go down to our office. Our kid needs something. What's up, Patrick? Um, learn what happened. I need to talk to you with your father. What happened? I'm a nice girl and I want to ask her out the first night. Oh! 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 She's beautiful and smart. She likes going to the theater. I don't have enough money for the tickets. How much? There's only one ice rink in the city, so skinny is okay. I'm gonna give him the money. And here's some money for flowers. Why not? We want our kid to end up with a woman, right? We want him to have a lady. Alright. I'm just looking at it, right? Medical worker uniform is illegal to own. Oh, oh, no, 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 That went against my wife? <gasps> no, 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 no. Uh, now what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Uh, I have a box, and I don't want it. I don't want to get rid of my wife. Oh shit, I don't want to get rid of my wife. That box was supposed to go to the kid. Oh shit, now what do I do? Oh fuck. I don't know what to do. I mean, it was supposed to go to that guy, not to... Oh man, I don't know what to do now. Well, I'm supposed to go to this guy. So he's part of something. So he's done something wrong. Oh shit, I don't know what to do now. I shouldn't have taken it to my office. He's got a lot of camerable things in there. Let's see, learn what happened. You were given a box for me. Where is it? Alas, I don't have that box. Really? Give me the damned box or you'll be sorry. Is there anything you make jokes about our agency without suffering physical harm? Are you threatening me? You're damned right I'm threatening you and your family. Oh, what the hell? Box is empty, you silly head is empty. Domestically, why are you making me angry? You're just like everyone else. Damned bureaucrat! My father would kill me when he learns I was kicked out of the university. I guess I have nothing to lose. I hate liars. If you don't die... Whoa! Oh it rained gosh. the day of Carl's funeral. The cheap pine wood coffin was covered with rocky soil as the bleak autumn sun lumbered across the sky. Wow. A thin fog settled over the cemetery. No one from Carl Stein's family was destined to leave to the end of the year. My daughter and my son! Oh, guys, I killed my whole family! 
Well, that's it, guys. That's the first playthrough of Beholder. If you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. It means the world to me, guys. It helps other people find the videos. And of course, it is a huge motivation to keep going forward. Also, if, it'll help me know if you guys want to see more of this. I would love to do another one of these. See if I won't die this time. <laughs> so if you would like to see more of this, please let me know, guys. Go ahead. Drop likes. Leave comments. And I will definitely record more. Holy crap. I can't believe I'm already dead. I can't believe I died that quickly. All right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. If you want to subscribe to the channel, click on the picture of my big dumb head there on your screen. There's will be popping up very shortly. Otherwise, there will be a link to a video that YouTube thinks you like as well as my most recent upload. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here, guys. I will see you, oh my gosh, in the next one.